Welcome to Music Making Academy. This video is one of four videos on how to write traditional Japanese styled music. This video covers the basics of Japanese instrumentation. Links to the other three videos on the Akibono scale, the Yo scale, and the Iwato scale are in the description below. Please note that this is only a brief overview of Japanese instrumentation, we're only going to go over a few basic fundamental instruments. First we have the Koto. The Koto is one of the most famous Japanese instruments on this list. It consists of 13 separate strings that are strung over 13 different bridges. Some kotos can even have up to 20 strings and have a larger range, but 13 or to around 17 is the most common. This is a plucked instrument, so it has a very twangy quality. The range is from A below middle C to A above the staff. Here's a quick example of what this instrument sounds like. This being a plucked instrument and not a wind instrument or a bowed instrument, it's pretty easy to find good VSTs for it that are fairly inexpensive or even free. Logic has a great sounding Koto VSTs for those of you who use that DAW. Next we have the Sakuhachi. This instrument is made from the root end of a bamboo stock. It's played similar to a recorder and actually resembles one. The range is from D above middle C to the E above the staff. However, some Sakuhachis are actually a little bit longer in length, and they can get down to notes as low as the A below middle C. Here's what it sounds like. If you're looking for a good starter VST to start experimenting with this instrument, you can pick one up over at Contact Instruments. They have a free library that has some basic instruments in it, and the Sakahachi is one of them. Next we have Taiko drums. These drums are very large and have this huge resonant sounding body. They're most commonly heard in music trailers in Western culture. Historically they were a war instrument. These drums are commonly found in traditional Japanese music, so you should try and implement them into your writing. Logic has a good taiko drum VST built in, but you should be able to find a good inexpensive or even free one somewhere online seeing as how it's a percussion instrument and they're relatively easy to sample. One other thing I would like to add is I like to use strings when I'm creating some sort of Japanese sounding music. It's not necessarily a traditional instrument, but it blends well with some of the other textures. Here's an example of how all these can be used together. For the most part I'm using the strings as pads. They're simply laying down the fundamental harmony and, and creating a sort of droning texture. The koto sounds really great simply running up and down Japanese scales. I find the sakuhachi to be a good lead instrument and that's why I featured it in that particular example. The taiko drums do a good job of filling out the low end. I use them more so to fill out a texture like you heard in that example. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to check out the other three videos on the Japanese scales, and I hope that this video in particular helped you with some of your own personal writing.